Welcome to my dear faces and other viewers. This is Manubendra Devnath, Assistant Professor in English Atajan Women's College. I am here for a class, class 11, and this is the topic, the unforgettable history. The unforgettable history. This is for class 11, lesson 1 from unit 1. And before I start my proceedings, I like to introduce you the new textbook that has been designed for your learning. This is the new textbook English for Today for class 11 and 12. English for Today. This textbook has been designed and you know the writer's name here I like to mention. Writers Kaji Mustain Billah, Fakrul Alam M. Shahidullah. Shamshad Muttoja, Jolfika Haidar, and Gautam Roy. And the renowned editors here, Syed Manjul Islam and Shahin M. Kobe. And NCTV book, this is called NCTV, that means National Curriculum and Textbook Board. National Curriculum and Textbook Board. And this is a very nice cover page you see to commemorate the 100th birth anniversary of our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, this cover page has been designed. You see the great image of our great leader, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. And in the textbook, I like to mention the table of contents, the table of contents. You see, in the textbook, there are 15 units. Out of these 15 units, you can have a lot of lessons from different issues, from different aspects of home and abroad. And I like to mention the title of the units. Unit 1, people or institutions making history, Unit 2, Greatest Scientific Achievements. Unit 3, Dreams. 4, Human Relationship. 5, Art and Music. 6, Adolescence. 7, Traffic Education. 8, Human Rights. 9, Diaspora. 10, Peace and Conflict. 11, Tools and Travels. 12, Environment and Nature, 13. Food Adulteration, 14. Myths and Literature, 15. Path to Higher Education. These are the units available in the textbook. And my dear learners, this textbook's learning is vital one for your better preparation. And today, I am going to show you some lessons from Unit 1 Lesson 1, that is the title Unforgettable History. And here I will show you some words and phrases and some questions and flow chart and some answers of some questions and of course I will go through some sentences from the text and later on I will introduce you some books written by Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and also some other writers on Bangabandhu. So let us start what I have written here on the board. Some words from this title The Unforgettable History. Words and phrase Constitution, Democracy, Negotiations, Slaughterhouse, Investigate, Mow Down, Deprived of, Avoid of, Cope with, Avoid with, Roundtable Conference, Overflowing with Grief, 23 Years of Operation, Here I mentioned the year from 
1947 to 1971. Aumilik, one of the greatest political parties of the world and of course the greatest political party of Bangladesh, this party was established on 23rd June in 1949. A revolutionary committee, a struggle for freedom, a struggle for emancipation, inflict, crimson, dissolve, prologue, suppress, emancipation, exterminate, exempt, confront, anarchy. These words and phrases are very much important for learning the meaning and making your questions answer nicely from the text. I want to repeat the words and phrase. Constitution, democracy, negotiations, slaughterhouse, investigate, mow down, deprived of, avoid of, cope with, avoid with, round table confidence, overflowing with grief, 23 years of operation, Aumali, Revolutionary Committee, Struggle for Freedom, Struggle for Emancipation, Inflict, Crimson, Dissolve, Prologue, Suppress, Emancipation, Exterminate, Exempt, Confront, Anarchy. My dear learners, before you start asking questions or giving the answers of the questions you must have a good preparation for learning the words. As many as words you can learn from the text, your basic learning will be stronger and stronger. So this is the text where you see so much fantastic words, so many unfamiliar words that may be interesting for your learning. And from here I have written some questions. You see some questions according to the SPs, what is a slaughterhouse and why? What is a slaughterhouse and why? Number B. What is martial law? What was the effect of it on us? Number C. What are the directives of Bangabandhu for common people? Number D. What are the directives of Bangabandhu for the armed forces? Number E. Why does the speaker mention the word crimson here? A lot of questions is still remaining out of these five and of, of course you will have your better learning from many many questions. As many questions you can find, you can get more answers. And of course the questions and answers should be relevant. And in this point about writing answer, I like to tell you one point. You will try to see the questions. Suppose according to the space, what is a slaughterhouse? You see, the question is in the present form. What is? So question is in the present form. You will write the answer in the same tense. That means answer will be also in the same tense in present form. And this question's answer may be like this. A slaughterhouse refers to a building where animals are killed for food. According to the speech, the slaughterhouse refers to the place in West Pakistan where the assembly would take place 
The West Pakistanis wanted to create violation because they did not want to hand over power on us. So this is the answer. And here you see, I told you early, the question is in the present form, what is a slaughterhouse? And the answer starts like this. A slaughterhouse refers, this is also in the present form, refers. A slaughterhouse refers to a building where animals are killed for food. This is noticeable. The next one, what is martial law? What was the effect of it on us? Martial law. Here also you see the question is in the present form, what is? The answer like this, martial law refers to a situation where the army can control an area instead of the police during a time of trouble. Ayub Khan enslaved us, killed many people and aimed bullet at our chest. I repeat, martial law refers. Here you see again the question was in the present form and the answer in the same tense refers to a situation where the army can control an area instead of the police. Number C. What were the directives of Bangabandhu for common people? What were the directives of Bangabandhu for the common people? Here you see the answer. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman ordered the common people to convert their houses into fort and confront the enemy with whatever they had at the risk of their lives. He also told them to the roads to stand still and to shut all shops. Moreover, he ordered them to go down, striving and starve to death for the freedom and emancipation of our country. So questions should be relevant to your answer. This is the vital point. Irrelevant answer doesn't bear the credit. So this is why uh, you will see five questions that will be your question sheet in the examination hall and out of these five questions all the fives will be answered and the marks will be ten in total. And from the words and phrase, what actually I only showed you, from the words and phrase, you will have MCQ questions that will carry 5 marks. And here, I want to show you another question number 2, make a flowchart showing the demands of the people of Bengal. Here, one thing is very much noticeable, you will have to see what is directed here, showing the demands of the people. You will have to follow what is being asked to point out. In the follow charts, all the points should be short and very relevant. Here you see the demands of the people. Do not forget to remember the asking here, the demands of the people of Bengal. He will start writing this flowchart showing the demands of the people. Number one, want to be free. That means you can omit the subject of your sentence. Because in the title here, you see it is written demands of the people. That means all the demands from the people will be written. Want to be free. This is a demand. And you will see six boxes will be designed 
to the right direction and number one that will be completed with the information and the remaining five boxes will be incomplete and you will have to fulfill with the information. Number two is the right want to enjoy their rights. Number three, you can write, want to draft a constitution for themselves. Number four, you can write, want to build their country newly. Number five, want to get economic freedom. <coughs> Number six, want to get political freedom. All these are the demands of the people. Once again, I like to repeat. Here, number one is given, want to be free. Number two, you can write, want to enjoy their rights. Number three, want to draft a constitution for themselves. Number three, want to build their country newly. Number three, want to get economic freedom. And number six, want to get political freedom. So this is a very nice part of your questions. This follow chart, uh, it is so easy to carry full marks from this question if you can write the answers that means points very relevant to the demand. And now I like to read some lines from the text unit on lesson one. And my dear learners, do not forget, reading is one of the best skills to make your language very much fluent because your pronunciation should be better and through your reading, you can have your easy practice with the language. And everybody knows this is our communicative English. That means you are asked to learn this language in a very effective way so that you can use the language appropriately in different circumstances, wherever you are. You may be in a job, you may be in anywhere, in a home and abroad. So to use the language effectively, that is very much vital. I read from the text. My brothers, I stand before you today with a heart overflowing with grief. You are fully aware of the events that are going on and understand their import. We have been trying to do our best to cope with the situation and yet unfortunately the streets of Dhaka, Chittagong, Kulna, Lashai and Rampur are awash with the blood of our brothers. The people of Bengal now want to be free, the people of Bengal now want to leave, and the people of Bengal now want their rights. We have, what have we done that was wrong? After the elections, the people of Bangladesh voted as one for me, for the army league. We were to sit in the National Assembly, draft a constitution for ourselves there, and build our country. The people of this land would thereby get economic, political, and cultural freedom. But it is with regret that I have to report to you today that we have passed through 23 tragic years. Bengal's history of those years age full of stories of torture inflicted on our people, of bloodshed by them repeatedly. 23 years of a history of men and women in agony. And you will have to go through the remaining part of the lessons of this history, seven months space of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, 
at West Coast Maidan in 1971. This is one of the greatest species of the world and some intellectuals, they also think that this may be the best species ever uh, given for the people, for the emancipation and freedom of a country. So we are absolutely uh, happy and grateful to this great leader of our nation. So my dear learners, uh, so far I have given you the introduction of the textbook, I have shown you the cover page and the aim of this new cover page of this uh, 100th birth anniversary of our father of the nation, Bhagavandu Sheikh Mujib Rahman. And also I have shown you the writers and editors introduction and the units given in the textbooks that means 15 units and different aspects given in the units and words and phrases I have shown and some questions and answers and follow charts. Now I would like to introduce you with some great writers and their books here written on Bongobondo. You see This is a great book written by Bangabandhu himself, Asamapto Akta Jivani. This is a great book. You will have to go through the book. And another book is there, Kalagare Rojanamcha. As a learner, you will have to go through for all the informations together from the historic events. Jati Rastre Janak Bangabandhu, written by Anu Mahamud. Jati Rastre Janak Bangabandhu, written by Anu Mahamud. Chironji Sheikh Mujib, Kovit Chaudhuri. Chironji Sheikh Mujib, Kovit Chaudhuri. So many books written on this great person, the father of the nation, you can collect and you can get all the informations uh, from the events of the historic events you can uh, say from uh, the events since 1952 to 1971. So before I conclude my class here, I want to congratulate you once again to attend here in my online classes and I can assure you these classes will go on in the same way and your participation will enrich myself as well as will enrich your stock of words and knowledge for this new topic in the next class. I will appear before you and by this time I want to say goodbye. See you again. Bye bye.